Dr. David Holmes Swinton is the longest serving president in Benedict's 147 year history. He arrived on Benedict's campus in 1994 with not only his beautiful wife Patricia and six children, but he brought vision, experience, and expertise to lead the college for the next two decades. The Harvard trained economist who is recognized for his many academic achievements is very humbled and thankful for the opportunity. When asked about his 23-year tenure as the president and chief executive officer, Dr. Swinton said, Nothing I've given credit for accomplishing has come from me alone. You know, I thank everybody who had faith, everybody who supported and joined in. Uh, that's the only way we achieve. I thank everybody. That's all you can do. You can say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate everything, all the support. Dr. Swinton has helped Benedict College achieve its lofty vision of becoming one of the best open enrollment colleges in the nation. I thank the faculty who went along and helped us implement the SE Square policy, help us improve advising, help us, uh, you know, uh, create new courses, new strategies. We implemented a whole set of seminars to help work with our students, to get our students to be ready and prepared, not only to do well in school, but to do well after they get out of school. I thank all the students who did their best. Our graduation rate has increased by over 50% since I came here. That's the students buying into Success Equals Effort buying into learning to be your best, buying into being, trying to be a power for good. Academically speaking, under Dr. Swinton, Benedict has not only made major strides in the classroom by achieving a number of national accreditations, but the school has also won on the field and has been at the top of its game as a leader in the SIAC conference. We thank our athletes. You know, Benedict College, when I came here, we were already a good athletic program. We was in the EIAC conference uh, in the NAIA, we was not an NCAA school. We brought the school to NCAA. We are the top athletic program in our conference. That's because the students, our athletes, our coaches, everybody's focused on, you know, trying to be the best, uh, trying to be powers for good. Dr. Swinton recognizes that Benedict's alumni play an integral part in the progress and sustainability of their alma mater. The alumni have been great. It's been great. We could have done what we did without the alumni. I'm just proud to have had the opportunity to be here, to serve you while you were here. And I hope I did something that was beneficial to you. And I hope we did something that was beneficial to you. I would ask them, have you been powers for good? Are you really uh, prospering? Are you using the education we gave you to your advantage? Has it given you the, you know, the, what you needed to build the kind of life you're interested in building? Uh, you know, we, 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 you know, we always said students were our most important constituents, but also our most important product. The entire Benedict family has joined with Dr. Swinton in creating a synergy between students, faculty, staff, and alumni. It's that family bond that helped to transform the campus from 24 acres to over 220 acres over the last two decades with over 25 new or renovated buildings. We're proud of the changes we made in the program, the restructuring of the college, you know, uh, building the, creating the schools with school deans. And we had none of that. We had no deans, we had no apartment chairs, they didn't have any support. We really liked upgrading the technology. We had no technology. I was shocked when I uh, got into the president's office. We had a decent enough office over in Fire Arts, right? When I found out, much to my surprise, there wasn't a computer in the president's office. I couldn't believe it, you know? And so, and then I said, well, what, what's, where's the computers? Don't have, there was eight computers on the whole campus. No network, no firebox network, none, none of this stuff had been created. No cable television capability. So we 
fiber optic. We put fiber optic all over the campus. We made a, a, a commitment that every single faculty person and every faculty support person, all staff, would have a computer on their desk. Uh, we made a commitment to, to create the computer labs for the students. Uh, not only we had some standalone labs, but also had labs in the dormitories uh, for the student use. We tried to do things that can give us some immediate uh, impact where people say, yes, they're serious about trying to build a quality institution. I don't take individual credit for any of these things. All this stuff has been teamwork. We work together. Uh, you know, that if, if, you know, if your people are not responsive, if the community is not responsive, you're not going to accomplish very much. So you got to get everybody to work synergistically together to achieve things. And I think uh, we managed to do that. So I, I'm proud that we were able to move the college to a different level, to change expectations for the college, to change what we thought we ought to be and what we could be. And I, and I think we, we managed to do that uh, through the ups and the downs. See, when we got it down, we didn't just throw up our hands and give up. We fought harder and turned, turned things around. So, And uh, uh, hopefully we have left that as a legacy and a lesson that our people who will continue, will continue to have faith in the college and continue to be committed to making the college as, as great as it can be. It's safe to say that Dr. David H. Swinton has successfully helped to make Benedict College a power for good in the 21st century and many more centuries to come. What captures it all is that we did our best. We did the best we could. We wanted to make Benedict excellent. We wanted it to be the best school of its type in the country. And we did everything we could to achieve that. What are some of your plans once you retire? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is take a long vacation. <laughs>